Cabinet Secretary of Public Works and Gender, Margaret Kobia, has today revived the hope of thousands of Kenyans who are yet to be paid for services they rendered to the National Youth Service. Kobia says that the payment of 6 billion shillings and pending bills for the last financial year is still ongoing, with the next payment phase set to start in the next three months. Kobia was speaking as she led the inspection of the manufacturing of face masks at the service where 1.7 million masks have been manufactured in the last three months. Lillian Kiari joins us at the NYS headquarters in Rua Raka with more. Lillian, what are you learning? You know, the COVID-19 pandemic got the country by surprise, but one thing that it has done is show the tenacity of the manufacturing sector. Here in Raraka at the NYS headquarters, we are able to make an inspection of where they're making face masks, and they're telling us they make about 90,000 face masks each day. And right now, since March, they have been able to make 1.7 million face masks, having a million of them been distributed to and been donated to the public free of charge. Of the 700,000 have, uh, have been, you know, given to clients of which they are buying each at 55 shillings. C.S. Kobia was able to make a visit this morning where she not only talked about the making of the face mask at this facility, but she also talked about the disbursement of money by the Women Entrepreneurship Fund and also the Uwezo Fund, where the Women Entrepreneurship Fund have given about 650 million shillings, while the Uwezo Fund has given about 250 million shillings. Here at the headquarters, I'm joined by Harriet Mboro, who is in charge of this facility that is making the face masks. And she's going to just be telling us how are they able to do this, how many people have been deployed to be in charge of this particular activity. And she's also going to be telling us how they're able to navigate between the making of the uniforms at the same time making of the face masks. Harriet, tell yes. us, how many face masks are you planning to make at the end of the pandemic? Or by the time the pandemic is already, you know, come to an end. Uh, actually, we don't. We we are hoping to make about two million masks, and we are hoping the pandemic will be will end, will end soon. So two million. So far, we have made 1.7. We have dispersed one million, 1.3 million. So in the stores, we have about 400 million, 400,000. Sorry. Yeah. Maybe you can tell us how you came about the 55 shillings price point of making one mask go for 55 shillings. Other masks in the market are going for a cheaper rate. Why 55 shillings? Our masks are three ply. So three ply means that you put in three pieces per mask. So there's the inner one, the outer one, and the, the other side, and the straps. After doing the costing and the costing of the material, we came up with the price at 55 shillings. How many people have been deployed to carry out this task? Currently we have 250 operators and then we have officers, about 40 of them. So we are doing together with them. So Dibal, we are getting to understand that in the next three months, NYS is also going to ensure that they pay all the people who are yet to be paid their pending bills. This is an activity that is going to end in September where they will have already verified their number of people who need to be in the list of the people who are paid the pending bills. Back to you, Dibal.